Very good. Now we say hello to our last presenter of the day, who will entertain us very much. E2 IP Technologies from Canada. And Fernando is based in Florida. He's the product manager of Printed Electronics. And he will tell us about screen printing, screen printing heating devices, its limits and challenges. Fernando, nice to have you on stage as always. Thank you, Christoph. So uh, uh, my talk is a little different than uh, the one I, I heard uh, before. Um, we are going to just focus on one of the products that we make. Uh, our company, E2IP Technology, manufactures uh, smart uh, structural surfaces, smart touch surfaces, electromechanical systems, uh, membrane switches, uh, uh, quite, quite a lot of products we consider ourselves to have uh, uh, good expertise on uh, conductive inks, uh, screen printing technology, adhesives, lighting, uh, heating, and uh, printed sensors uh, as, as one of the many. Uh, but the talk, uh, uh, you know, revolves around uh, screen printed heaters, which uh, has become a very a hot topic uh, these days. So uh, let me just uh, dive right into this. Um, we manufacture three types of, of heaters right now, printed metal coils, printed metal grids, and uh, printed resistive heaters. Uh, obviously, these are all utilized in, in the automotive, military, uh, aerospace, and even commercial applications, uh, medical applications, of course. Um, so you require a certain degree of, of uh, knowledge in, in conductive materials, resistive materials, and, and dielectric materials to be able to put together these heaters. Um, these products are uh, usually printed on flexible substrates like thermal thermoplastics, uh, th uh, thermoplastic polyurethane, sorry, uh, polyesters, uh, PET, uh, polycarbonates, and uh, polyamid or, or uh, captain as they're called. Um, so this is uh, one of the, the most uh, uh, popular ones these days, uh, a PTC heater, which stands for positive temperature coefficient. Um, as I mentioned, they are all screen printed. Uh, in this particular case, this device requires uh, uh, two prints, usually a conductive material and a resistive material. Uh, the, the formulation is a carbon ink. Um, before anything is done, we, we conduct a, 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 a theoretical simulation and, and prepare a CAT uh, model for all of our clients. And once this is approved, this goes into the system and we can start producing the parts. Um, so how these work is uh, very simple. You apply uh, electricity through the conductive traces. It flows through them and through the carbon tiles. You'll see some of the samples uh, that you, you see in the picture are thermal images of what they look like. Um, and the temperature and the resistance, uh, it continues to, to rise until the resistance is too high for the electricity to flow through. This is a property of the ink. Uh, and, and at this point, this is, uh, you reach a point called shutoff point. This uh, kind of turns off the, the, the system a little bit. So basically the, the printed uh, PTC material allows current to pass through uh, when it's cold, it flows really well, but then it restricts the, the current flow as the temperature increases, right? These little tiles that you see in the pictures, as, as they're called, uh, begin to cool down until the resistance is low enough for the electricity to begin uh, flowing again. Uh, as I said, these are primarily printed on, on plastic materials. So how do we design a, a BTC heater? A lot of people have been asking, it's, it's pretty simple. First, you, you need to start with what is the area that we're going to heat up. That's, that's what helps us determine uh, the size of the substrate, the number of the tiles and the size of the tiles. Uh, uh, you need a, a plastic substrate. Uh, as you see up here on the upper north, you see that these are the main bus bars that are going to carry the, the current through and uh, one on the opposite side. Then you have secondary bus bars uh, and the tiles are placed in between them. Um, the, the temperature requirements uh, usually come from the, the customer himself or 